What's going on guys, it's your boy King Solomon back here with my video for Rumbleverse and today we're going to be talking about the future of Rumbleverse and what I would love to see come to the game at some point or around season 4 or season 5 hopefully, but let's get into the video, let's dive into my ideas and thoughts. So what you're going to be seeing in the background playing is literally me and my boy Werewolf running through the duos as I'm talking about the things that I would like to see. So the first thing I would love to see come to the game is a wrestling collaboration or a WWE type of collaboration. Some type of wrestling co collaboration will really do. I am a huge fan of wrestling and Rumbleverse gets the inspiration, inspiration for wrestling a lot through its moves as you guys can see. The choke slams, the spears, the super chokes the um super kick the i uh, can go on and on and on there's a german suplex you can do in the air there's a suplex that you, that you can do a basic suplex super azuna drop it's a sp spinning pile driver so um i'm gonna leave it with that and i just really want to see some type of wwe collaboration fall guys has it fall guys has well fall guys actually did have a wwe collaboration and they've only had like two seasons they really had it in their first season which was crazy um so it really begs the question as to when is epic games going to give us a collaboration for Rumbleverse? because we need it um fortnite has a shit ton of collaborations all the time they're they just got the my hero academia one and it's really nice so i can't wait to see what type what type of collaborations they're, that they're going to do for Rumbleverse. i just can't wait to see um another thing that i would love to see come to the game is customizable supers um the supers are cool don't get me wrong the super system really needs some work uh it should not be as easy to get your super well I'll say this, it should not be as easy to catch people with your super attack because sometimes you can dodge out of it, you still get hit. Sometimes you, you guys are supposed to clash with the supers and you don't clash. Uh, there's a lot of errors in the super system. But um, my biggest gripe with the super system is that everyone has the same exact type of super. Um, I feel like there should be levels to the superstar mode. There should be a level one, level two, level three. Um, you should be able to customize whatever superstar, well, whatever move you have for each level for your superstar mode. And there should be like only select moves that you can use for your superstar mode in those levels. You can unlock new moves, set new moves in the, from the locker room, which would be pretty dope if they did that. So it'll make sense to me um if they did something like that honestly uh <clears throat> i think the next big thing i would love to see is moves that'll make you um the liberate move is pretty cool so far i've played with it a little bit and it gives me the idea of them doing more moves to where you can make people drop their moves when you hit them or drop their books make them or a super where you can drop everything literally when you get hit with it it makes you drop everything even the move you even the moves you have equipped like you unlearn them uh you drop all your post uh well you keep all your protein shakes but you lose your superstar mode your stamina it'd be pretty cool if they made an ultimate like that something very overpowered that takes really long to get that can only be probably a level three certain moves in that uh sense should only be a level three because they're that overpowered um and i feel like level three should only be a once grab like if you grab once and you miss then you just gotta build it back up so let me know what you all think about that idea right there in the comments because i think that is a good one um also i feel like we should also be able to unlearn any move that we learned that we learned from reading any books 
So if I picked up an atomic punch line and I want to give that to a friend because I want to use the Omega uppercut or something like that, I should be able to just press a button, drop the book, unlearn the move and give it to my friend. I don't understand why books don't work that way or moves don't work that way in Rumbleverse. But with the whole uh, throwing people in the water mechanic, I know Fortnite had it had it added like later on, like season two, season three type thing. But the whole mechanic of Rumbleverse characters not being able to swim to me is just stupid. They're fucking athletes. They should be. They should know how to swim, even in deep water. Like, like I get it um, that certain. I feel like it should be a, a a perk, really. So, I feel like that should be a perk to where we can swim in the water, because it doesn't make sense as to why we can't. There, these characters are too big, too broad. Like they have loads of stamina. I feel like if you're in the water, it should just drain your stamina really fast, and you have a very short amount of time of getting out of water, out of the water. That's literally the only. Well, there's a couple more features, but I can't really think of them right now. So I'm just going to leave you all with that video. Well, with those thoughts and suggestions that suggestions to the devs and features that I believe should be added to the game. Let me know what you all think about that in the comment section down below. I am out. Have a great day. Going to leave you guys with some more Rimoverse video clips. And that is all there is for me. I just got off work and I'm very exhausted, so I'm sorry if this video is like a little bit lackluster. <laughs> I'm trying, y'all. Trying my best. Peace, y'all. Have a great day. Like and subscribe if y'all are new. Yeah.